Hey, mind if I sit down? Well, you sounded upset over the phone, and you were pretty quick to end the call. I made my way over as soon as I could. I knew you'd be here. <laughs> because I know you. I know you like to get away when things get too much, or when you just want to be alone and think. And you forget, this isn't just your place. It's ours, our little sanctuary. Do you want to talk about it? Are you sure? Hey, can you look me in the eye and honestly tell me you're okay? Look, I understand if you want to be alone right now, but something tells me you really don't. And I don't want to just leave you, not when I know you're hurting. If you really don't want to talk about it, that's fine, but I'm going to sit right here and stay with you until you're ready to head back, okay? Hmm? Are you sure? I know I was asking earlier, but you really don't have to tell me if you don't want to. So, they rejected you, huh? I'm sorry it didn't work out. I know you really liked them. But I'm proud of you, you know. Oh, there you are. Finally got you to look at me. Yeah, I'm proud of you. You want to know why? Because you were really brave today. It takes a lot of courage to tell someone how you really feel about them. I know it hurts now, but think about it this way. Now you won't have to keep wondering. Come here. Because I want to give you a hug. Good. Now that I've got you, let me just hold you and be here with you. Let's just forget the rest of the world for a moment. Just forget your classes, your work, our friends, even your family. <laughs> forget everything just for a little while. Just be. Now, close your eyes and listen to the water flowing down that creek we sometimes like to splash around in. Listen to the birds up in the trees serenading us, telling us they're here too. Feel the warmth of the sun surround you, embracing you like I am. Feel me, my arms around you. I'm here to lean on if you want. I'm here for you. Yeah, always. You know, if you want, there's no one here, no one but us. There's no one to hear you shout or curse at the wind. No one here to stop you from crying if that's what you need to do. I definitely won't stop you. You don't have to hold anything back with me. I'm right here. I'm not going anywhere. You're safe with me. All the pain or anger or sadness or any other emotion you're feeling, let it all out. I've got you. That's right. There you go. It breaks my heart seeing you like this. And I hate knowing this might not be your only heartbreak. I hate knowing it probably won't be. I really wish I could say otherwise. I know saying everything will be okay doesn't magically make anything better, but I want you to know that it's okay to feel whatever you're feeling right now. Wounds do heal over time and things get easier, but there's no rush. There's no deadline of when you have to get over it. Just go at your own pace, as fast or as slow as you want. 
but remember you don't have to bottle everything up and deal with it on your own. I'll always be here for you no matter what. And you know what? Someday you're going to find someone who thinks the world of you. Someone who sees how special and wonderful you are. Of course you will. I know you will. You'll find someone who puts you first. Someone who goes out of their way to see you in their free time because they miss you that much. And they'll do whatever it takes to see that beautiful smile of yours every chance they get. You'll be on their mind whenever you're not together. They'll call just to make sure you've eaten and text to see if you've made it home okay. They'll never forget your birthday. <laughs> hey, that was one time, and I made it up to you, didn't I? I should get a friend of the year award for what I did. True, I really should have remembered in the first place. But I spoiled you rotten after. Wasn't that fun for you? Find someone who spoils you like I do. Mm-hmm, of course they will. You deserve to be spoiled. And you deserve to be appreciated. So they'll also want to get to know you as well as I do. And I'm not just talking about your favorite color or which foods you don't like. I'm talking about taking the time to learn how you like your coffee and tea, and, and that you actually drink both. They'll even learn that you drink coffee only in the morning, and you have like a hundred different types of teas for different situations. Like when you need to stay awake to study, or for when you're having a hard time falling asleep. And your favorite for when you had a bad day and you just want something warm to make you feel better. You'll find someone, the right one, Someone you'll see as both your sun and moon, and they'll look at you like you hung up the stars yourself. <laughs> uh, that was a bit over the top, wasn't it? But that doesn't make it any less true. There's somewhere out there. Jeez. Listen, my delusional best friend. You deserve someone who appreciates you and sees the amazing, wonderful human being you are. Of course I think that of you. So... Forget that bozo you confess to. They don't know what they're missing out on, and that's their loss. Hey, anyone would be lucky to have you. Well, for starters, you are absolutely stunning. I mean, you've got this cute little nose you scrunch up when you're concentrating on something. And those smooth lips that pout whenever you realize you've run out of snacks for your not-so-secret stash. And you have eyes that just shine whenever you talk about your goals and ambitions. And the way you smile? Wow. And don't even get me started on your laugh. Listen, it is the most joyous, most contagious laugh I've ever heard. I'm not exaggerating. You're incredible, and I just want you to see yourself the way I do. Even when you're a crying mess like this, you blow me away. But more than that, you are a wonderful person with an incredibly big heart. The way you want to help out anyone and everyone and the patience you have with people, I don't know how you do it. The way you hold yourself up when things go wrong as if you're saying, is that all you've got? I wish I could be more like you. It's true. And on top of all that, you work so hard. Between school, your job, making time for friends, for me, You've got to have some kind of magic up your sleeve. In fact, I'm pretty sure you even sweat glitter. <laughs> Listen, you are a breath of fresh air, a warm blanket on a chilly day, and I hope you know just how happy I am you're my friend. There's that smile I was waiting for. Now, let's see if I can keep it on you. It is the weekend now, so why don't we indulge ourselves a bit? My treat. You pick and I'll pay. That's what best friends are for. Now come on. What? What's wrong? Yeah, of course. Ask me anything. H have I ever had a crush? Of course I have. Oh. Have I ever had a crush I wanted to confess to? That's a bit of a story. I... Well, I guess we do have a few more hours till it starts getting dark. 
story time. Let's see, where do I even start? <sighs> right, um, back when I was in high school, I guess you could say I was an easy target of puppy love. I, I fell in love a lot and quickly. But in my last year, I made a new friend, James. It was in history class. Cute, nice, funny, and he made friends so easily. He was the kind of person everyone got along with, including me. Well, the first month we didn't talk to each other at all, even though he sat right next to me. I think we were too busy being caught up in the chaos that was major wars, historic figures, and whatnot. The reason we even started talking was because he asked me a question. A question I didn't know. It didn't take long for us to realize we were both clueless. We actually grew close pretty quickly after that. He started drawing cartoons in the margins of my notebook when he couldn't be bothered to pay attention. We were texting each other every day and hanging out almost every weekend. James even drove to my house after our graduation ceremony to congratulate me in person. He even brought balloons and a bouquet. It was really sweet, and that's how he was. He was kind, and he cared about others. You know, I'm actually not sure how he felt about me. I mean, there were a few times when I thought maybe he felt the same way, but I didn't want to risk our friendship. Confessing your feelings to a friend is a game changer. Well, a couple months into the summer, he started dating my best friend, Avery. Yep, my best friend. They didn't even tell me. So when I heard they were together, it's like everything stopped. My heart just dropped straight into the pit of my stomach. I felt like I couldn't breathe. James was the first crush I've ever cried over. The only one I've ever cried over. But do you want to know the worst part? I couldn't even bring myself to be upset with either of them. Sure, I was sad for a long time, but I was never mad. Because I never said anything. Avery knew about my feelings, sure, but what kind of friend would I be if I tried to get in the way of her happiness? Their happiness? because of a silly high school crush. Oh, believe me, it was like a stab in the heart every time I saw them together. But it did get better over time. Hmm? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm over him. I've been over him, but I do sometimes still think, you know, what if? What if I had said something? Would we have gotten together? Or maybe he would have told me he didn't feel the same way. Either way, I'll never really know. And that actually still eats me up inside. That's why I said I was proud of you. I admire your courage for telling someone how you feel about them. In a sense, it's kind of like a weight off your shoulders, but I know it still hurts. That's just how things are. I know feelings are messy. Relationships are messy. But that's also what makes them beautiful, special, worth it. No, I didn't like anyone after him. At least, at least, um, at least until I met you. I, uh, yeah. I like you as more than a friend. I may or may not have had a crush on you for the past few months. Well, <laughs> I told you, confessing to your friend is a game changer. I was debating whether to ever tell you, but I didn't want to repeat the past. I was going to say something, but then you started talking about someone you liked, and I didn't want to mess anything up. Why are you looking at me like that? Did, did you just call me an idiot? <laughs> I, I mean, what else is new? What? 
No, that, that can't be right. You were upset just a bit ago because your crush rejected you. So, you went after them to try to get over me? And you were upset because you started thinking about what would happen if I ever rejected you. H how long have you liked me? Um, I, I, I don't believe this. I don't know whether to be happy you feel the same way or upset we lost so much time. Yeah. Feelings are messy. But, um... Uh, I, I, I know we just confessed to each other, but you did still technically get rejected earlier today, so I'd understand if you wanted to wait up. Um, so, so I guess you wouldn't mind then if I took you out on a date now? My offer still stands. You can pick and I'll pay. <laughs> yes. You can pay next time, but what do you say? Let's get out of here? Perfect.